Yeah, process theologians have a lot of different ways of explaining process theology, and so it's kind of hard to put it all in one little nutshell. But typically speaking, process theologians emphasize that existence is in process, that things are not little bits of matter bouncing around already settled, but that there's an ongoingness to time. And most importantly, perhaps, God is a part of the ongoingness of time. So most process folks think that time is real for God and creation, that there's an interrelatedness, that each individual, whether it's a small little entity or a very complex elephant, is interdependent and interrelated with its environment and its past. They also, most process thinkers following Whitehead want to talk about uh, existence as being more event-oriented, or the technical language is uh, an actual occasion, but it's more experiential than it is little bits of matter or mechanistic sorts of ways. And the process tradition wants to avoid any sort of hint of determinism by saying that there's agency or in complex creatures freedom, that there's um, some sort of indeterminateness even at the most basic levels of existence. So there's a lot of ways to define process thought, but I would say the ongoingness of time, the genuine freedom or agency in the world, the interdependence or interrelatedness, and that the world itself is made up of events or moments or drops of experience.